Boo! I'm not booing myself. Well, I kind of am. <laughs> I'm playing a ghost game, Ghost Control Incorporated. Uh, this might look familiar to a few of you long ago. Um, and by long ago, I mean, I don't know, maybe a year or two ago? I let's played Ghost Control while it was still in, I think, Alpha. Maybe it was Beta, but I'm pretty sure it was Alpha. And at some point during the development, they came out with an update where my saved games really didn't work anymore. Uh, so I had to abandon that Let's Play, which was kind of sad, but you know, that happens sometimes. That's what happens when you play a game that's that early on, once in a great while. And I'd always wanted to come around and do a new Let's Play of Ghost Control Incorporated. So finally I'm doing it. This is game version 2.22. So if you've seen my other Let's Play, there'll be some familiar things, but also some brand new things. So why don't we start our new game? Uh, we have to start in London. Look at that guy. We're going to be Fat Farmer, Fat Billy. Oh my god! <laughs> that looks just like a guy I went to school with! I'm sorry, only only people I went to school are going to know this. I'm sorry, man, but that looks like my friend Steve Bremer. <laughs> Except for his smile's a little less dorky. Alright, we're gonna be Steve Bremer of Ghost Control Incorporated. Um, this is our headquarters, as you can see. That's our little love bug. There's our leader, Steve Bremer. Which kind of works, because he's a scientist in real life, and so he formed his own, um, uh, ghost corporation. We're gonna kind of scroll through there. Ghost hunting news. Let's pause this a second. The River Thames growing by n glowing by night, not growing. It's not gonna dr drown out the people. Our newspaper received an anonymous letter revealing terrible news. The letter states that the technology inside of fridges, and by that they mean refrigerators, using chlorofluorocarbon CFC was introduced with the main purpose of creating a hole in the ozone layer. Furthermore, we learn that the hole in the ozone layer is now big enough to send ectoplasmic waves from the ether to Earth to trigger targeted paranormal phenomena. Wait, so you're saying refrigerators were formed to allow ghosts into the world? London is supposed to be the first target for such attacks. This may explain why the River Thames started glowing at night recently. That could be pollution, too. The letter does not clarify who is behind this threat. The company Ghost Control Incorporated, that's us, has announced meanwhile it will stand tall against the threat using self-made equipment to fight the spooks. That always scares people. Yeah, we made our own nuclear accelerators we carry around in our back. Uh, their hero-like appearance is enhanced by their overalls and fashioned colors that they made using fabric conditioner to make battling ghosts more comfy. I mean, that's one thing. If you're going to battle ghosts... You want to be comfy. So let's go to our computer. Um, and we want to go hire somebody. So there are different classes of people. Does it say what we are? We are a leader. Um, the little star by there, I believe, is leader. Um, this guy's a shooter. Here's a scientist. Another scientist. A shooter. And a boiler. Or this guy's a bruiser. Boiler is his name. Um, and you can see those stats down there. Sanity... Strength, constitution, intelligence, aim, morale. Some, some of those stats will affect what kind of equipment they can use. And sanity, when you run out of sanity, your guys run away. So we either want a scientist or we want a shooter, I think, to start with. Donna Weta, getting Weta in the pants. I think Steve, well, is that a girl? She looks like she's got a mustache. Yep, we're going to hire Donna. Oh, Donna. Right here is where we keep our ghosts. It's the Ecto Vault. It allows you to sell ectoplasm captured from the ghost. Later on, we can retrofit our ghost mobile to be powered off of um, ghost jizz. Uh, back here, uh, we can build a research lab or a training place. Uh, it's an extension for your headquarters. How much is it to build that? A thousand grand? We do not have that. A thousand grand. A thousand bucks. So we're basically just kind of sitting here. Wait, didn't I hire her? Yeah. Why isn't she... Oh, okay, so we're going to put her here with the vehicle. We really need to get her some ghost equipment. So let's go run out to the store. Oh, incoming call. Thank you for becoming part of Ghost Control Incorporated family. As an introduction to your new du duties as a ghost hunter, gu ghost hunter, we've set up a training mission. 
All right, so this is the training mission. We're going to do the training mission, but first of all, we're going to go... Um, there's our vehicle. You can see these other guys here. These are alternate... They're, they're competition. They're other ghost hunting teams. We're going to go here and buy some ghost equipment so that Donna... Man, our car is slow. Can have a proton pack or whatever. So let's see. We have 641. What do we want to buy? Suck it? Suck it real good. I want something better than that. The uh, Sucker Puncher? That looks kind of cool. Um, we're going to put your suit on there, Steve. And we're going to have Donna take our homemade vacuum cleaner. We're pretty sure it works. One of our ghost traps. We will hand Steve the other ghost trap. And then we're going to buy him... We want to buy him a good uh, weapon. Let's see, that's two damage, four range. I kind of like that. Three damage, three range. I want something definitely with range. Some of these things will also have, like, that says pull one. It'll pull the ghost towards you to try and pull him over traps. So really, let's see. Ghost be gone. That's two damage, range of five. Sucker punch is two range of five. What's the difference? One pushes, one pulls. All right, we'll get the sucker puncher. All right, so we have 241 pounds left, and we're going to be in debt soon. Uh, the reason we'd be in debt is because we have to pay for our headquarters. The headquarters is the big HQ up there. All right, so we're already go. Let's go get that ghost. I ain't afraid of no ghost. Is that Trafalgar Square? Big Ben. And I don't know what that is. And St. Dude's Cathedral. <laughs> I love St. Dude. The dude abides. All right, so we're all... We ought to get her a proper outfit. Um, as you can see, our jumpsuit gives us plus two morale. Um, morale is important. I think morale is what you're going to keep open. up to. I expect us to be expected. All right, Steve. Let us move forward. I don't think Donna even got out of the car because it's the training mission. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'm just going to wait here. All right, let's turn on the light. Go, 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 ghosts! Oh, shit. Oh, and he's damaging things. Over here on the right side is the damage meter. Um, for us to make money on these missions, we've got to make sure that they don't get the damage meter up to max because the damage will be taken out of what we get paid. So, all right, let's go shoot this ghost. Let me zoom in a little bit. You can see he's a little cute blue ghost. Kind of like the professor there. So his energy is down to zero now, and we need to lay a trap. So we're going to drop a trap right below him, and boom! I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Anyone up for any more? Uh, you can see Steve uh, removed a ghost. Got paid at 708. We lost four of that because of damage, so we got 704, and he didn't go up in level at all. But So our next goal... Um, if we go back to headquarters, this here is our gas gauge too. In fact, let's pick up some gas while we're out here. Um, we will fill up to 100%. That's different than before. You don't, I don't think you had that option before. I think you could do it all the way. Quick attack team. You're not as cool as Ghost Control Incorporated. What's that? Paradoxon? So if we look at our, um, oh wait, how do I... I don't remember how to empty the traps. That seems like a problem. All right, so I think we automatically empty them. I don't know. So we're gonna just wait around, Donna and I. Donna looks very manly. <laughs> uh, I would love to hire another guy. Let's see. We need a thousand to build a research lab. Oh, incoming call. Gauss control, respecting European Union law and other restrictions. Do you need help? Oh wait, that's us. Uh, all of a sudden, it became really cold in my office. Was your wife there? Ha ha ha! Can you describe it for me? You know what? We're gonna come see ourselves. Let's roll, Donna. I swear Donna's a man. So, where's the ghost? Uh, right there. Let's roll! In the crap mobile. Potter, Potter. Uh, we have no nitro we can't use. We need an extra drive. Oh no! Paradox on group! You cannot get that. That's our ghost. Oh shit, shit, shit. Go! Donna, get out of here and push! These mothers will... Uh-oh. What is the news? Ghost 
Shock lower prices. Go Shock, the company well known for miniature electroshock devices, including Zap and Go Series, are lowering prices on all items by approximately 10%. This is primarily due to lower transportation costs. Oh man, we should have waited to buy our new weapon, apparently. <laughs> Even with their best selling item, the Boomstick, made in Grand Rapids, Michigan, which is capable of sending a current of up to 3 amps. We'll have a 10% reduction. The Zap and Go series features the patent energy tripler technology that allows the device to send higher energies, energies, levels of energy to the target than first thought possible. No ghost has ever survived an encounter with it. Well, can we beat these bastards? We did. All right, we don't really need to equip our ghosts because we already have. I do need to get her a better outfit. I swear that looks like a dude. She's got the modified vacuum cleaner that Steve invented. <laughs> We've got our ghost traps, which make look like they're made out of toasters. Has Have some toast. Catch switch? a ghost. You're the toast with the most. So there is a way to remove walls, if I can remember. There we go. All right, Steve, let's open that door. Ghosts at dead o'clock. Yeah, that's hilarious, Donna. Um, not a very likely chance to hit. Are you serious? You know, uh, go into... Oh, I don't know if guard mode's activated yet. Just go for it. Oh. Oh, maybe it was very likely. Good hit. It has one energy left. All right, Donna. Please do not shoot Steve in the back with your nuclear power vacuum cleaner. All right, that ghost is down to zero. That is pretty damn cool. Yeah, you run! You run, you little coward ghost! Steve, drop that trap right under him. Oh, we can't reach that far. Beginner traps are not very powerful. Ghosts must be weakened. That's why we're looking at the energy level. We want to take the energy level down to one or two, because the lo lower the energy level is, the more likely it is for us to be able to capture them in these traps. These traps don't hold a lot. They can hold two. Uh, the catchability is 60%. Uh, you can see right here that Steve has two little red dots, as does Donna. Basically, you are allowed two actions. You can move twice, or move once and shoot, or shoot twice. So we will have Steve shoot again. And that's how he caught him. His beam pulls the ghost towards him, pulled it over the trap, and he captured one. So we'll have Steve pick up the other trap. And then we will have Donna, the manly-looking woman... Um, we'll just have her open the door. In fact, you know what? Screw it. We're, we'll have her go inside. Turn on the light. She's like, clear! I can hear it, and then, uh, another one moving around. You can hear, like, the chains. Oh, it's another one of the cute little ones. And Donna missed. Because we're shooting, um, you know, nuclear-powered proton pack-type things around... We can also damage the house, which will cost us money. Make it so we make less money. Alright, we're going to try and corner the damn thing. Where are you going? Come back here! Apparently he turned it off. Turned off the lights. Yeah, there you go, Donna. Pull him in. Alright, that didn't work so well. Uh, Steve, chance to hit likely? Nice hit. The ghost is down to zero. Can we put a trap under him? No, we can't get that far. Fuck it, we'll just shoot him again and pull him in further. At least, uh, when the owners show up, we can be like, Hey, we didn't break anything, the damn ghost did. Time to go down. Um... Actually, we'll just leave the trap there. If he tries to move off, I think it'll get him. We'll have Steve explore the uh, kitchen just to make sure. It's like, it's all clear, yo. Oh, man. Our shitty homemade trap didn't work. The ghost was just like, bitch, I'm out of here. Poop. Steve's like, damn it, Donna, can't you do anything right? Fine, I will trap the ghost here. 
Uh, we can't actually drop anything right there. Switch over to Donna. Pick up your trap that you failed with. The ghost will probably attack Steve here. Yep. You can see that negative one. That means Steve got attacked. He lost one sanity point. That's all right. Ghost attacks can cause hunters to panic and run away, but don't worry, they'll be back for your next mission. That's true to a point if their sanity gets down to, or maybe it's their morale. One of those, if they get down to zero, they can go mental and never come back. Wait, why can't you drop the trap there? Oops, oh, it's because I got the wrong person selected. There we go. Can we uh, leave already? Congratulations, you've earned your, or completed your first mission. You can heal your team in the hospital should you drive back to your headquarters. The traps will automatically be emptied into the Ecto Vault. That's good, because I don't think they were automatically emptied in the version I played previously. Uh, you could see that the trap turned red. That's because it was full. Um, Steve gets plus one morale for um, all his awesome ghost busting. He lost one sanity because of the ghost attack. And we made over a grand. So let us run down to the hospital. By run, we might as well run. This vehicle is so slow. There we are right there. Quick attacks getting gas. Paradoxin group. We're going to hang up on that. Tried to get that ghost, but we beat them to it. Oh my god, this car is slow. There are sloths that are faster than this car. They would laugh at us and make fun of us. Alright, so what we can do is... Oh, apparently there are curses we can remove? Oh, that is cool. That's brand new to me. So we're going to heal everybody. It's going to be 10 pounds. We're really just healing one point for Steve. I mostly wanted to show you the hospital, but seeing as that's new to me, that's cool to see. Quit shooting your jizzy jizz there, doctor. And I think that's where we're going to end things. We're going to head back to the headquarters. There's a new headquarters we can buy at some point. Um, we'll probably save that for the future. But not, not bad at all. We busted a couple ghosts. We got used to some of the new things. We made our group bigger. Oh, we're going to have to stop for gas. That's not a big deal. Sorry, Carl. I'll get to the next one. I'll see you all next time. Thanks so much for hanging out, everybody.